Hey everybody, my name's Mark Gill, this is Mark's on the Grill. Welcome out back. Today we're going to talk about the new Robert Irvine Portable Grill. I'll tell you what, these things are fantastic. They have a removable lid, perfect for tailgating. Inside you've got your warming rack, everything self-contained, even the grill grate. It sits right in place and you're ready to go. But before we get grilling, we got to get building. But good news, this isn't like putting together an ordinary grill. It's going to come to the house just like this. Let's get it unpacked. Easy enough. So you're going to have your two sides with the clips, two sides with the name on it. You've got your grill plate and, of course, your warming tray. You've got your lid, handle, and a few other goodies. And, of course, your grill grate where the charcoal goes. There's also a cover included and a little bag with all of your little screws. Now you're gonna get two black ones, that's gonna be for the handle, and everything else is for what we're gonna do next. Now I don't really have a whole lot of tips and tricks with this, it's pretty straightforward. I'll give you a little hint on the best way to put the quarter brackets in, but I will say, if you got one of these, go get it. So the first thing you wanna do is take one of the side pieces with the brackets and one of the side pieces with the name. Now on this side piece, you're gonna see two tabs right there. And on the side with the bracket, you're gonna see two areas where those tabs go. And all you do is line them up and they will snap in place. And now you wanna repeat this with all four sides. Next, we're gonna attach our corner bracket using the silver screws. And this is where this comes in handy. These self-threaded corner brackets are really easy to put in. They line up with the holes on all four corners. So all you do is set these in place. Simply start the screw. You don't have to screw it all the way in, making sure to do this on both sides. And now let's go ahead and do that on all four sides. And remember, you only need to start the thread. You don't have to tighten it. So now with your screwdriver, go ahead and tighten all eight screws. Now carefully, because you don't have the top and the bottom secure yet, turn your grill upside down. And on all four corners, you'll see where our last four screws are gonna go in. I like to place the screw on the edge of the screwdriver and then carefully glide it in place. Now that it's all secure, you can flip it over, put it aside, and just like that, we're almost done. Last thing we need to do is put the handle on the lid. And for that, you'll want the last two black screws. Just start the thread and let this do the rest. Well, all right, we did it. Now just take your charcoal plate, the grill plate that rests inside gets turned over and set in place that way or even that way. Included with your grill is a super handy warming tray so you can keep food away from the heat while the meal finishes cooking. Great if people like their steaks done a little differently. And when we're all done grilling for the day, cleanup couldn't be any simpler. Simply take off the rack, get rid of whatever charcoal you've used, and every piece fits together. The lid fits snug on top and even clicks. Now you're ready for your next grilling adventure or use the included case with the handy hole for the handle and keep it safe till you're ready to grill with Robert again. My name's Mark Gill and this is Marks on the Grill. See you out back.